Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the best ways to get a lot of ebooks very quickly in Fortnite. I understand it's been a while, but I'm back, I'm here to make some content again, and I'm here to give you guys some really cool videos. If you do enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe maybe, and I've just opened up my Discord server, so you can join that server as well if you want to get some free V-Bucks or some free items. But anyway, let's begin with the actual video. So the very first thing uh, what we're going to do is come down to the game selection and we're going to find save the world. Usually this is on the by epic section. Uh, let's just scroll across here and as you can see the save the world option is here. Click on select and we click play. So now this is taking us into the save the world game mode. Um, as you can see here we've got the little menu. And the very first thing we're going to do is by going to our daily quests. Uh, you can either click this button down here or you can simply tap Q. If you're on controller or Xbox, this could be a different key bind. It should stay around here, but I'm going to click it right here. And we're going to go to daily quests. And as you can see, I have three daily quests at the moment. Um, I have one called daily scouting shelters, which is literally just discovering outdoor survivor shelters, uh, which are basically these little huts that um, survivors are in around the map. Uh, it can be found in any zone whatsoever, whether that be a desert, a thunder route, anything. Uh, next one, we've got husk extermination. So again, just eliminating husks in a successful mission as a certain uh, character, which here will be an outlander. And then we have daily scouting suburbia. So discovering uh, suburbia locations, parks and restaurants. And as you can see, uh, each of these give around 80 V-Bucks per. Uh, sometimes it can also be a lot more. So if you want to get a chance of getting 120 V-Bucks, you can just replace the quest uh, right here. Unfortunately, I didn't get one this time. Oh, actually, I did. I did. Yeah, as you can see there, I actually got 130 V-Bucks from that one. So that's just giving me an extra 50. It doesn't always go to 130, it can go to 80, um, but this is just a chance of getting some extra V-Bucks. And as you can see here, if I add all of these up, this should give us around 200 to 300 V-Bucks um, just by doing these little quests every single day. It's quite simple, it doesn't really take much man work, and at the end of the day, you get some free V-Bucks to spend on skins or whatever you want to spend it on. So the very next thing is we're going to click back down here and come to our map. Now, in these zones, specifically um, anything above Canny Valley, but it does work in Stonewood, um, you will find that we have V-Book missions. So uh, the best way to find out if you have any V-Book missions is by coming to FortniteDB.com and this will take you to a website which basically tells you all of the V-Book missions in Save the World currently. So as you can see today we've only got 110 V-Bucks on the V-Book missions uh, so we can actually see where these are. So right here we have a P uh, which is Plankerton and that is a Ride the Lightning mission at power level 34 which gives 30 V-Bucks. So let's go find this mission real quick. So let's hop out of here and go to Plankerton and we want to find the Ride the Lightning at power level 34. So here you go as you can see uh, 30 V-Bucks, you get 30 V-Bucks just for completing the mission, um, and there's also a few others as well. Um, obviously you can see here we've got Twine Peaks, which not everyone can use, but to the people that can unlock it, you've got a power level 94 uh, evacuate the shelter, I think, or repair the shelter, and we've also got a power level 94 retrieve the data, which both give 40 V-Bucks. So in total, that's 110 V-Bucks, as you can see, uh, it does kind of give like a, a little bit of a chart of how much V-Bucks um, you get from each day. Uh, I also do have a bot in my Discord server which tells you the missions in more detail of where you can find them, how much V-Bucks they give, etc. You usually get this notification as soon as the missions are refreshed, so make sure to join my Discord server to get those notifications. Link will be in the description. So the last method is going to be split into two. The first one is going to be doing your own Storm Shields. Uh, each Storm Shield gives around 100 V-Bucks per, uh, until the final one, Storm Shield Defense 10, gives 150. Uh, obviously you can do this 40 times if you've not actually done any of them yet, which is around 4,000 V-Bucks uh, plus the extra 150, so probably be around 4,500 V-Bucks just from doing your own Storm Shields. If you do want to check your progress, you come to Quest Log, come all the way down to your side quest, and as you can see it will say all of these. I've already done them all obviously, so it says Endurances, which is the waves after Storm Shields you don't get V-Bucks for, but that's fine. 
Now, the very final way to get a lot of V-Bucks in Fortnite is by coming to Quest Log. We're gonna come down to Challenges. And as you can see here, we have Toxic Treasures and Hold the Door. Now, I'm on stage 20 of Toxic Treasures, stage 16 of Hold the Door. So I've earned a lot of V-Bucks from this. So for every nine Storm Shield fences I do, I get 50 V-Bucks. Of course, it wasn't always nine Storm Shields. It used to be complete one, complete two, but as I've got higher in the stages, it takes more Storm Shields to complete. So yeah, as you can see here, if I complete nine Storm Shield defenses, then I will get 50 V-Bucks. Now the easiest way to do this, obviously, if you've already completed all of your Storm Shields is by coming to the map. Coming to any of these zones whatsoever, I'd recommend Plankerton or Stonewood because they're the easiest. And click select, come to here. Now what we're gonna do is click select, Storm Shield Assist, which joins another player's Storm Shield Defense mission and click launch. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to bother going into it because it's just a waste of time, but that's what you would do. And the very final quest down here that I have unlocked is Toxic Treasures, which is just destroying mimics in successful missions, which gives me 30 V-Bucks as well as some extra X-Ray tickets. So I hope you did enjoy the video. If you do need some more guides on how to get a lot more V-Bucks, join my Discord server. Link will be at the top of the description. Uh, make sure to subscribe and yeah, take it easy. Have a good day.